then things get more complicated to the extent that we don't have a solution. We can't, we can't solve it, right? So in real reservoirs, we have 3D, uh, spatially varying permeability, porosity, um, time varying viscosity. You know, geometries are not ex always regular, right? I mean, they're, uh, they're, they're irregular, tight pinch outs in reservoirs and other things. We have sources and sinks that can be spaced irregularly all over the well. I mean, that's another sort of thing. We don't really talk about how well to find the boundary conditions. But in any of the cases where you can get an analytic solution like that in a PDE, it's usually under a very set of well-behaved boundary conditions, sort of best case scenario boundary conditions. But in a, in a real reservoir, we have complex geometry and sources and sinks all over the place and irregular places and in general complex boundary conditions. And again, this is the equation, right? So this is in 3D. In, in previous, we had a phi right there, but this is what phi looks like, right? It accounts for, uh, or uh, rather, this is what the gradient uh, of phi looks like, right? So uh, you, know, you have the divergence of this whole quantity is equal to that. And that's just for single phase flow under all those assumptions that we made. Right? That's essentially the 3D version of the equation we derived. Okay. 